Hello everybody, um, I am Pilot, and uh, you know, usually when I make stuff I just sort of drop it because it's pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing, but this one I think required a little bit of uh, explanation, and I'm very passionate about it. Um, so, you know, my inspiration is that like five years, probably like five years ago, Black T created a plugin for Netscript to try to like, tran using the Google Translate API to try to translate uh, different languages into um, uh, English for people or their own respective languages um, and you know I've always been thinking about that and it, it actually happened that uh, a couple days ago this uh, Portuguese person came on to uh, my server and he was really eager to play but I mean he just didn't um, could barely speak English so uh, that got me interested in creating a multicultural, multicultural, multi, multilingual, I guess you could say, chat, uh, chat box where, you know, you're not really doing like a command to say something. You're just sort of whatever you type is being translated uh, either to your language and, and then uh, respectively to the person's language who is uh, saying and or hearing. Um, so uh, just to test this out. Uh, I have this bot right here, it's mimicking me, and uh, I set his language to English, and I'm going to change my language to, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. French, okay, and, uh, uh, so, okay, so if the bot says something to me, um, it'll translate for me in French, because I'm the French person here, so the bot will say, Yeah, okay, so the boss said, hello, how are you? But for me, because I'm French, I got translated to, uh, bonjour, comment uh, des tu? I don't know, I don't, I don't know the correct pronunciation, don't make fun of me. Um, and, okay, so that's really cool. Uh, let's try another language to show how dynamic it is. Oh yeah, Hindi has to get removed. I'm sorry, Hindi, but, you know, characters don't work in Gary's Mod for some reason. Uh, oh my god, encoding for text is so weird but that's beyond that's that's a that's a that's a point for another day all right korean right huh yeah and uh you know if i could pronounce that i would but i cannot um so that that's really cool now what if the person speaking to me speaks a different language all right so i'm gonna I'm gonna change his language, one second. Okay, he is a, fr he is a French speaker now. And I am a, okay, I'm an English speaker, right? Um, so if we do, Yes, yes, my French skills. Yeah, okay, so I said, uh, bonjour, je suis désolé, in French, and it got translated to me, because I'm an English speaker, to hello. I am sorry. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I also want to uh, localize a bunch of different languages because of this. Um, for anyone who cares to know how I did this, I didn't use Google Translate API, because that now costs money. Um, I'm actually using IBM um, Watson Translator, which um, you're allowed to use for free. Um, they give you like a certain amount of characters that you can use per month. It's like a ridiculously high number, so unless you know you have this crazy diverse server, I think you should be fine. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if I want to, I mean, I, I want to release it, but uh, I want to make it a little bit, it's, it's a little, you know, you have to create an IBM account to sort of use it so it's a little on the harder side to to use but but yeah that's what I've been working on and I'm really excited about it because um, that means you know you no longer have to force people to speak English which I think is really cool um, so yeah yeah thank you for listening to me and uh, bye